Mara here, your trusty LearnPad Implementation Specialist. In this tutorial, we will explore the features and functions of the Dashboard tab on the LearnPad Management Portal. One function of the Dashboard is Mobile Device Management for IT departments. Another function monitors classroom device activity for teachers. The Dashboard is also used for Class Cloud functionality, which allows teachers to hand out individual files to students, and students to hand in files on their LearnPad to their teacher's portal account. The dashboard is accessible via the cloud-based LearnPad management portal. It is one of the tabs across the top. Let's first look at how to monitor device properties using the dashboard tab by clicking on it. Within the dashboard, there are two ways to view your devices. Simple view will display device screens. We'll come back to this view in a minute. By clicking on table view, I'll get a list of device names. Table view will give you a quick view of device properties. You can quickly see the device names, which lesson the devices are on, the charge levels, and more. To see more advanced properties about a device, simply click on the device name. Here, you'll see much more detail about that particular device. Now, click the back button to return to table view and the whole list of devices. To choose specific devices, simply click the screen icon next to the device name. The devices that are grayed out will not be selected. To select all of your devices, click Select All at the top. Now let's look at the Advanced options within Dashboard. Click Advanced on the bottom right, and you'll see the Advanced Options and Remote Control capabilities, which is commonly used by IT departments. From the Advanced section, you'll be able to update all of your devices with the newest LearnPad software. You can also remotely wipe the files on your devices and even remotely shut them down. Now let's return to SimpleView for in-class device monitoring for teachers. First, let's take a look at ClassView. ClassView is an optional premium feature that gives you four additional buttons. In order to get full functionality of ClassView, the device you're using to access the portal and the LearnPad tablets must be on the same Wi-Fi subnet. Be sure to ask your network administrator if you have questions about this. The icons underneath the tablet screen will indicate whether or not you have full functionality of ClassView. You will see five icons when you have ClassView enabled. Let's look at the features of ClassView. The first button within ClassView allows you to take a screenshot of device activity. This allows you to easily document if students are off task or are doing something really great. The second button within ClassView turns on live streaming of device activity you'll be able to see, in real time, what your students are doing on their devices. Next to the camera icon, you'll see the icon to put one device into presentation mode. Presentation mode is ideal for classrooms with interactive whiteboards. You can use the interactive whiteboard to control the tablet. Students and teachers could stand in front of the class and wirelessly model the work on a device for whole group instruction. The folder icon allows you to see a file directory for the selected tablet. You can put files on the device or take files off. Now let's take a look at the dashboard features that come included in the price of the LearnPad. Class Connect. The antenna icon refreshes the connection between the portal and the tablet. If you don't see the icons underneath the tablet screen, clicking on this button will reconnect the LearnPad portal and the device. Need to redirect a group of students or your whole class? The pause button, with or without a pin, allows you to stop device activity causing a student's device screen to go black. When you're ready to resume student device activity, click the play button to restore the student's screen. Need to make an announcement to your class or forgot to give your students headphones? Press the mute button for student devices to go silent. The button right next to it will then unmute the devices when students are ready to hear sound on their device. Can't find a device within the classroom or need to redirect your students? The bell icon will send an alert noise to student devices. The message icon will allow you to send individual, group, or whole class text messages to students. You can send words of encouragement or even send new directions. Students receive messages only from the teacher and cannot message each other. Need to quickly change something within the lesson students are on already? Make the change on the portal and click the heart button to update LearnPads according to the changes you made on the portal. It's always important to verify that your devices are locked before class begins. On an unlocked device, students can access the device settings and any link on the web. It's a good habit to check your alerts for devices that may be unlocked. 
Click the alert and the devices that are already locked will be filtered out. Then click the lock icon to lock up the unlocked devices. Need to change the settings on many devices and don't want to manually type in the unlock password? Click the unlock button to enter the password once and unlock in bulk. The lesson option will allow you to send lessons to selected devices without using a QR key. This is especially useful when students need differentiated content. When you're ready to send a lesson, just click the up arrow. The last feature we'll look at today is Class Cloud. Class Cloud enables you to send handouts to individual students. Students can then hand in assignments from their device to their teacher's portal account. Let's look at how to hand out a file. First, select the devices that you'd like to receive the file. Grayed out screens will not receive the file. Click on Select a file to send and then find the file on your computer. Once you have selected the file you'd like to send, you'll see a file icon being sent to all the devices. Students will then receive an alert on their device that they have a new handout available. They simply click on the alert to access the file on their LearnPad. Depending on the file type, students are able to edit the file using their tablet. You can see that this student is beginning to fill in this worksheet. When the worksheet is completed, let's see how the student can then turn it in to their teacher. Within almost every app that has productivity function, there is a share button. Right now, this student is using Adobe Reader. You'll want to find the share button within the app that you're using. Next, you'll want to find the hand in option. You should always look for the LearnPad logo right above it. Then you'll have the option to change the name of the file. It's typically a good idea to have your students add their name to the file name. And lastly, press Hand In. Now, as the teacher, to view the files that were handed in that day, teachers simply click See Today's Files. Files that were handed in are then arranged by device name. You can then select the file you'd like to open and save it to your device. Using your computer, you can then assign a grade. To return the file to the student, simply hand it back out to them using Class Cloud. To view all handed in and handed out files, click Class Cloud on the left-hand side of the portal. That concludes our tutorial on using the LearnPad dashboard to monitor devices both in and out of the classroom, and Class Cloud for handing out and handing in files. Be sure to click on the Support tab at the top of the portal to view more videos and find step-by-step -step articles.